A Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Department transport unit is often the next step for somebody who's overdosed. Uh, they're going to become extremely cyanotic uh, due to the lack of breathing. Um, they're going to be blue, um, unresponsive completely. Jacksonville Rescue Division Chief David Castleman says first responders have been getting more calls about heroin. Really in January, we noticed uh, that there was a marked increase in our responses to uh, not only overdoses, but uh, specifically heroin overdoses. When paramedics respond to overdoses, they'll administer Narcan, a drug that reverses an overdose within minutes. Jacksonville's Fire and Rescue Department has used a lot of it this year. From 2011 to 2015, we averaged uh, be between two and 300 uh, administrations a year. In the last year alone, we've seen a 100% increase in the amount of Narcan that's been administered for these overdoses. But more importantly, since January uh, up till now, in just this last four months, we have had a 278% increase uh, in Narcan administration for overdoses. Before last month, Narcan was only available on 41 rescue vehicles. Now all the advanced life support engines carry it too. He says he'd like to expand that to every engine in the department. Heroin use is sweeping the streets of Jacksonville. That, as the chief tells WJCT, in most of the fatal cases, heroin isn't the primary killer. What's interesting about fentanyl is that it's 60 times more potent than heroin. It's a synthetic uh, analgesic, and um, these uh, drug users, uh, or I should say drug manufacturers and uh, dealers, they're cutting um, synthetic fentanyl uh, with heroin. And so it, because it's cheaper to manufacture and it's much quicker to uh, produce than, than heroin. In hospitals, fentanyl is used for anesthesia, epidurals, and chronic pain, like for people who have cancer. Castleman says in Jacksonville, it's what's killing heroin users most often. The medical examiner's office contacted his department to let them know most deaths by heroin overdose were actually deaths by fentanyl. We've had numerous cases that we responded to where the individual was using drugs alone and we found them dead with the needle still in their arm. That's how quickly that that drug acts. He says most drug users don't know what they're getting isn't pure. And so I think the message is, while we're not condoning drug use, is that um, if you are an addict and, and you are using uh, illegal drugs, uh, you, you should never use drugs alone. For Community Thread, I'm Lindsay Kilbride.